that up right there. Okay. Plug up the charger to this. Oh, is it? Give me a minute, guys. Just hold on in there. So, as you can see by the topic, and we're going to talk about NBA Youngboy bullshit about the video that's going around, and I'm going to point out some things, and this video is, is specifically for the younger, you know, generation, because right now they're confused, and I'm going to point out some things. Also, you guys can see this video that I'm doing with the program that I'm working with with the screen recorder to show myself in the video as well on the YouTube channel once it's edited and put together and uploaded to support my second channel, which is Cheddar Terry 931 channel, which is my political awoke channel. And you guys are also going to see the, uh, you know, the live raw on cut version of this video as well that you guys are seeing here on IG. So. I want to point some things out, man, because, you know, I come from a different era, a different generation, and me being 28 years old, I'm going to point out the fuckery of this, so, go ahead, start the video, now let's go ahead and get into it, five, four, three, two, one, alright, so, I noticed this video going around with MB Youngboy punching somebody, and I'm going to point out some things just wrong in this video and me being from a different era, different generation, and me being 28 years old, especially stuff that I have seen and experienced, you know, witnessed, you know, myself and why he is in the wrong for this. So let's go ahead and begin the video. And I'm going to break down certain things. TMZ. Okay. Already right here looking at this first part he's performing in the crowd not on a stage crowd surfing crowd waving no security around him so let's take it slow break this down and the two maybe three different aspects the first aspect the people that booked him the funding behind this. Is this at a venue? No. Is this at a stadium? No. To me, this looks like this was college fund. Funded by the college. And if this is the case, why didn't they not provide a stage for them? Yeah, they got a stage. A good majority of the kids here that I can see look white. And today's generation of performers or rappers, you know, are white audience. Now, could NBA Youngboy sue the school? Yeah, yeah, he could. Also, the second aspect is this. He can also be sued, not just by the victim involved, but by the school itself. Also going into his promoters and the label. And the a and r executives, not to mention security can also be held accountable for this as well, not to mention you know they can one why isn't he on stage two 
Where's the security at? Three, why in the hell are you performing in the crowd anyways? Like that. Now, let's let's kind of really break down. Let, let, let's point something else out here too. Third aspect, right? They say they ain't supposed to be touching them. They ain't supposed to be touching them. Well, if you're performing in the crowd like this crowd, waving, crowd surfing, and people are holding you up, and it's those audience of yours holding you up, that's a sense of touching. That is a sense of touching. Also, there's a lot of bullshit involved that, again, we're going to get more into as we go into this video. Let's play some more. Okay, he's performing. Grabbing. Okay, we've we seen some grabbing. Does that mean somebody was trying to jack his chain? No. No, it wasn't. Everyone's hands are up. He's bouncing around and moving. He takes off his chain. Okay. Here's this. Bouncing around and moving. This is where the fronting, fronting, not fronting, front, fronting. What he's doing is fronting. It is a French word for instigator, start in trouble, causing it, also teasing, bouncing around, moving, people are holding you up, you're trying not to fall, just because somebody grabs you doesn't mean they're trying to jack you, no, a lot of people have their hands up trying to touch him, it's already him by performing in the crowd like that, he's fronting, Stirring the pot, want to start trouble, teasing the crowd. Right? Also, when you're performing, your jewelry moves around. I have myself been known to perform, and when your chain gets behind you, it's going to pull on the back, irritating. So you want to adjust it. Also, he's taking it off. Right? What does that mean? Okay, he's taking it off. What does that mean? Teasing. Teasing. He ain't trying to hand it to nobody. He's, he's trying to take off his chain. He's going to take off his chain, right? We see him take off his chain. Let me go ahead and try to clip mines right now. Shit, my eyesight's bad as fuck. So he's trying to take off the chain. He ain't handing it to nobody. He ain't trying to put it in his pocket. This is where the teasing comes in again. The teasing. Because in one angle we've seen, he's handing it down. Trying to see who wants to rob him. Ain't nobody trying to rob you. No one wants to try to jack you. No one. So already we see him punch somebody. It's because he was fronting. Starting the trouble. Alright. Instigating the situation. In the era of hip-hop, when there was rules and a council at the time, and there were codes you had to follow by, and you were doing, and if you were a performer doing that, fronting to start trouble, and then teasing somebody with your jewelry, and you crowd waving, crowd serving without no protection or security around you, and then you just punch somebody, because they were not trying to harm you. You yourself, the performer, will get dealt with after all that. One, you'll get your music card pulled. Two, you're going to have to pay up some money. Three, you yourself are going to get beat up. And if you don't provide, and if you don't follow by those rules 
those expectations, you will very well will get killed. So again, he was performing in the crowd. It was his choice to do that. Number two, just because you've seen somebody grab you don't mean the hell they were trying to rob you. You were bouncing around. You're about ready to fall off whoever the hell shoulders you were on. Also, you're in the crowd fronting, again, starting trouble. Instigating. Teasing. Teasing. Taking off the jewelry. You're not handing it to security this way. You're not trying to call security over like this. No, you ain't trying to put it in your pocket. Now, we've seen that from the other angle, right? We've seen that from the other angle. He was not trying to put it in his pocket. The angle of which his hands was going was this way. Handing it down. Down. Teasing. To start trouble. Teasing to start trouble, yeah. Punching someone for no apparent reason who wasn't even the person who grabbed you in the first place. Let's also point out the fact that there are more vid you know, there's quite a videos of them hitting females. Won't fight a dude, but it fight a female. I know people like this. Because they're uncomfortable around women and they don't like women. NBA young boy's one of them. He likes being around guys. Going more into it as well is this. Check this out. His mother's a hood rat. Yeah, yeah, his mother's a hood rat just like Chief Keith's mother. She ain't had shit to say and she was really supporting and aggravating the situation on with the uh, alle with, with the allegations and the beating of women. But when he said something about his mother, it's when she got onto him. Chief Keith's mother, she was screwing around with one of the ops. Got He got her pregnant. You don't hear no more conversations about Chief Keith and his mother. Chief Keith didn't even do nothing, so Chief Keith became a punk. Example of the coonery right here is NBA Youngboy. You know, the victim can really sue him for that and press charges. You punched an innocent person had nothing to do with stealing from you, jacking from you, because you were fronting and teasing. Yeah. Fronting and teasing. And especially, he's from Louisiana. Those that know what I'm talking about. Those that know what I'm talking about, you know, from Louisiana. Louisiana boys, they're, they're funny style. They uh, play hide the Willy Bobo from each other. Yeah. Just because a woman comes out with pictures and some videos. And the problem is with us men in the black community, yeah, we down our women. We do. And some would say, oh... She's clout chasing. She just wants money. You don't know if that's the case or not. Because when you have power and money along with that, you're going to want to make your threats to put fear in somebody and say, hey, if you go around trying to tell or call the feds or post videos on social media to kind of get me in trouble, I'm going to kill you. It takes one brave person to stand up after not wanting to be scared no more and to say, hey, this is happening. You know, where there's smoke, there's fire at. So he already has a record of being abusive towards women. Won't fight a guy. There's some people in poetry saying that he punched a girl. It wouldn't surprise me. Again, he doesn't like women. Louisiana niggas are just like Atlanta niggas. They don't like women, they like guys. Yeah, funny style like that. Because... Anywhere else? Who else do you see? Honestly to God. If you were a gangster as you claim you were. Straight as you claim you were. And we all know the picture, right? Of the NBA young boy and his lover, which is a dude kissing him on his neck in the club. We all know Kevin Gates was piping him down because he got a tattoo of him. It's like he got a tattoo of him too. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show that video. 
Go to Google. It's called being suspect. Should be here. Right there. Yeah. Matter of fact. This picture right here is new. It's reversed. Wow. Because in this picture, you see NBA Youngboy kissing his lover. Other picture, it was this guy in the black shirt kissing Youngboy. Funny style. Funny style. I should tell you something right there. Going back to the video. Again. So let's, let's replay this. He's crowd waving. Crowd surfing. Performing in the crowd. Not on stage. All right, somebody grabbed him. Again, does that mean somebody's trying to rob you? No. There's incidents and stuff like that all the time where, yeah, you're actually you're gonna grab somebody. You're excited. You're hyped. You're not. You don't know how to really take the the excitement. Doesn't mean they're gonna rob you. If he wanted to rob him, he would literally would pull him all the way back, try to get his shit from him. Now. Other clip of the video, we see his chain again moving when you're performing. You know, it's going to be weight in the back. It's going to be choking you. It's going to be agitating. So you're going to want to adjust it. That's what he did. At that time, how he was just bouncing around, moving, he was fronting. Fronting. Remember what I said fronting was? Being an instigator, you want to instigate the situation now. Now you want to start trouble along with a situation that doesn't exist, so you're putting it into existence. We already see him taking off his chain. This part is right here teasing. You see? No one was trying to grab his shit. Because it went to the other hand, and again, from the other angle of the clip that we've seen, which, let me go ahead and find that. Let me go ahead and highlight this. I really want to find that other angle. And again, you know, one thing about today's generation. One thing about today's generation is that, you know, we got phones now. You know, we have cameras, video recording on our phones now. So you're going to get different angles. I want to find the angle that's the most famous angle right here. I believe this is it. Okay. So we got the big dude holding him right there. Right? We got the big dude holding him up. That doesn't even look like security. And I don't believe it is. And if he's responsible for the NBA Young Boys for protection, not getting shit snatched, it's his fault too. Hmm. Okay. Let's rewind a bit. Hold up. What was this? Let's pay attention. Fronting, teasing. Hmm. This new angle, he leaned back again to start trouble. Okay. He's leaning back. And this one to start trouble. Then, you know, again, getting excitement, getting the crowd going, people hands are up. Why does it mean he wasn't trying to rob him, Jack? No, he just it's like, yeah, man, it's young boy. So he accidentally grabbed him. Wasn't trying to rob him. Now we see him about to start teasing with his jewelry. Right there. Didn't hand it to the person holding him up. Didn't hand it to security. Wasn't putting it in his pocket. What was he doing in the angle I described before? T 
teasing it. He teasing. Just, just teasing. Here. Here, take it. To start trouble. That's on some sucker shit. That's on some clown shit, too. Let's rewind. I want to see the gender of the person he hit. Hitting somebody who had nothing to do with grabbing you. Because you were there to start shit. And good majority of reports about most of his concert, why he's getting, getting booked, is because from the promoters, the cameras that are out, and the people on stage, and statements have came out that He's known to start the shit first to instigate the situation and to cause trouble, to tease. You know, when you do something like that, and this is where the generation gets it messed up and confused. You're saying, oh, he about it. No. How can you be about it if you're the troublemaker, the starter, the instigator first that causes that kind of energy towards you? You get no stripes for that. And again... During the early essence, the middle essence of hip hop in its silver and gold or golden age, if you were known for that and seen that, and statements came out, even with a picture, some kind of footage of some sort, then yeah, you would get your shit pulled and you would get dealt with. He didn't get his chain snatched. Nobody's trying to snatch his chain. Again, he was fronting, not fronting, fronting. Which means starting the trouble, bringing it to existence, instigating the situation along with teasing, teasing, teasing with this. Again, a good majority of his audience are like college kids. So he wants to go into the crowd that he knows he can play with. Let's see you do that at an actual club in a venue spot, like a town like where I stay at. And some of the most parts have been known to get down. With the black crowd from the black community. Oh, because I guarantee you, you ain't gonna just you ain't gonna do it like that. You'll be too scared. And if you do and think they're a cloud if they're a crowd to play with, that makes you a clown. And that makes you a whole meal out here. Yeah. Sharice gotta eat. And again, Fugazi, funny style. Do I have to say more? Do I have to say more? As a matter of fact, Big Fix Nation did a video on this right here. And he has the picture where it's this, this guy in the black shirt kissing young boy who's in the uh, black and white striped jacket. Yeah, funny style on young boy because that's what he is, a clown. And again, he went to his concert, the front, and teased to start trouble. 